Some people have asked me why do I do this motivational stuff? And I asked them, do you think that proper thinking is important? Well, of course they answer. I tell them that in my opinion, motivation on a daily basis, purposeful focus on the good, clean, pure, powerful, and positive messages is important because motivation is not permanent. That's the reason I recommend it. It's just like bathing. It's a mental hygiene. And I hope you might buy that. I challenge you today to make a lifelong commitment to getting up one hour early and focusing on personal victories and personal renewal. That's what we're going to talk about today. If I tell you that you're a multidimensional being, you might ask, what do you mean? But remember, we have physical, mental, social, and spiritual needs all play an undeniable role in our efficiency, effectiveness, and happiness. Bruce Barton once said that when I consider a tremendous consequence that comes from a little thing, I'm tempted to think there are no small things. So imagine you're walking in a forest and someone uh, is cutting down a tree. What are you doing, you ask? I'm sawing down this tree, can't you see the answer? Well, you look exhausted. How long have you been working? And the answer, oh, about five hours. Well, why don't you take a break, you answer, for a few minutes and sharpen your saw. I don't have time to sharpen the saw, they say. I'm too busy. That sounds almost ridiculous, but the principle of renewal, of sharpening the saw, of self-renewal, makes all other things possible. You are the instrument, the multi-dimension part of your physical, spiritual, and mental being all contribute to your individualism, worth, and happiness. We must keep these dimensions balanced, otherwise we can face disaster. The physical dimension involves caring more for our bodies, eating right, rest, and adequate exercise. We often may think we do not have time, but exercise, for example, is one of those things that is important but not necessarily urgent. But the more you neglect it, eventually it becomes urgent or we may have adverse consequences. The spiritual dimension provides a center and leadership to our life. It's a private area, but a supremely important one. It, it should draw on timeless principles from humanity. Personally, I find renewal in daily, med daily meditation of scriptures and motivational content because it represents my value system of love and obligation to myself, my God, and my neighbor. Of course, these principles are reinforced by thought, study, and action. If you don't have a strong spiritual dimension, you can start by quiet contemplation of those things that are important to you. Perhaps it may sound strange, but what would you like to be said about you at your funeral? Do you want someone to say he was a workaholic or he was a compassionate, giving person that served the community? If your life is not in alignment with your core value of what you would want said at your funeral, contemplate you might want to change. Work on your motives because if you don't know why, you cannot do well on a consistent basis. The mental dimension, much of our mental growth comes from study and formal education. After we leave school, many of us let our minds weaken, or worse, we let social media and television fill our days. We do not expand our minds or explore new subjects. We don't learn to think analytically. We do not continue to learn and write and express ourselves in a clear, concise manner. Working muscle and sinew is vital to an athletic training program. Education is the same in a mind that needs to be proactive and independent during this time of conspiring influences. I'm grateful for television, but the average family watches 30 hours a week and loses tremendous potential, simply squandered by sitting there in the lazy boy. People often know that educating themselves would make a massive impact in their lives, but they lose that forever, that gift of time. It's valuable, but that's why there's a great value in reading broadly and exposing yourself to great minds. It's said that wars are won in the general's tent planning and organizing, sharpening and honing. While we're talking about private victories that often happen before the sun comes up, the physical, the spiritual, the mental, the sharpening of the saw gives you an edge. There is no other activity on this earth that can compare to value to one hour of daily private victories. Your physical relationships, the restfulness of your sleep, your ability to endure stress is all improved. This sharpens our consciousness. So I ask you to remember that the endowment of your consciousness properly aligned with proper principles gives you an edge in this life. The wonderful thing is that while we consistently work on one dimension, our awareness and our strength to address others may increase. Ultimately, being sharp is so that we can be powerful and effective as an influencer. You may have seen the video that I made called Helping Yourself and Helping Others. 
It's about reflecting to others about their potential and helping them grow. And the best way to do this is to be sharp, capable, aware, and mindful yourself. Seeing family and friends and our children and ourselves with additional strengths allows us to see ourselves in fresh ways. It may be said generations from now, if we do what we're supposed to, we may be the builders of families and the builders of peoples. So again, I challenge you to make a lifelong commitment to getting up one hour early and focusing on personal victories and personal renewal to sharpen the saw. My friends, this is your friend, Scotty Nichols. As always, I invite you to listen to the good, the clean, the pure, the powerful, and positive, to be mindful, and to understand how your mind works in this challenging time. We have the capability as human beings to overcome and to adapt. I know these principles are true. Renewing ourselves physically, spiritually, mentally, intellectually, socially are all important. They are self-enhancing. And I promise you that if you work on these things, I'll see you at the top.